Welcome back to the series. We're going to be testing out top rated face masks sold on Amazon. Today we have this KN95. It doesn't have a name on the box, but on the listing, it says that the brand is Top Max. So we are going to go over the listing now that we're here. This is a Top Max <laughs> KN95 face mask. It's a five layer breathable filter efficiency. It says that they are cup style, but they're not. They are bifold. K95. These masks are currently on sale for $9.99, which is a really good price if you are looking for affordable uh, K95. Here is the seller. This is also the one that we purchased it from. And here it comes with more specifics on the item. It says that the brand is Top Max. It is a K95. I believe this is the model and it's a size large. So let's see how this fit on my face because I do have a smaller face. So we're going to open it up. It does come with a certificate. And this is how the face mask looks. So this is how they look. They are just a very standard, a very standard mask. They are very thin as well. This is how it looks from the inside. Some of the KN95 requirements are the KN95 logo. Also, it requires to have the KN95 style and the manufacturer or brand. So as you can see from here, it has the KN95, which obviously is also on the mask, but it also has the KN95 style here, which is GB2626-2019. And it comes with the manufacturer. Like I said earlier, it has it here on the list. It tells you it tells you the product name the manufacturer the address and that they are made in china okay so let's put it on and see how it fits on my face they are a little bigger on my face which i assume they were because they are a size large so it does have a slight plastic smell but it's nothing too crazy i'm not gonna pass out <laughs> the nose wire I feel like I'm getting a bit of fleek through my nose, but let's see. I think it just might be the nose wire. The nose wire is probably not the best. That's why I feel like I am getting a little bit of leakage. But it is a very comfortable face mask. I do feel like I am getting a little bit of leakage, like I said, through the nose area and maybe through the sides a little bit. I don't feel like it's sealing properly. But that's just how it fits on my face. Obviously, we all have different face shapes, so the fit is gonna be very different on every person. Now, with all that being said, let's see if they do pass the filtration test. This is our TSI machine. We use it to test particle filtration efficiency of a respirator or mask. Our testing procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first remove the band before placing it to a testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure the mask is completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results, F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R stands for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. K95 resistance should be less than or equal to 210 pascals. One millimeter of water equals 9.8 pascals, which means this mask is 213 pascals. P stands for penetration percentage. As shown, this mask tested at 0.8 89% for particle penetration, meaning it's at 99.11% filtration efficiency. So as you saw, the mask pass the filtration test. They are very soft materials, so they do sit pretty nice on the face. When it comes to the fit, I'll probably give them an 8 out of 10 just because of my face. It doesn't really properly fit on my face, and it does have some leakage. The quality of the face mask is also very nice. These straps are not going to rip if you pull them unless unless you pull them way too hard. <laughs> because of the nose wire not being the best, I probably give this also an eight out of 10. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a like and comment down below any suggestions you guys have for future testing, as well as any feedback. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check the description box down below so you guys see all of our links, including our website, acumen.com, and I will see you guys on our next video.